So I woke up this morning and I read a very incredible email from someone by the name of Jeff who owns a Ford GT. First off, thank you so much Jeff for emailing me this incredible idea for a video because I have not really considered it before and I know from my experience researching and learning about this new car coming out and also hearing ideas from many other people, I haven't heard this one quite yet. So I think it's a really great uh, opportunity for us to try to answer Jeff's question and also really talk deep and in depth about what we possibly, what we likely will see. If you look back to around, it was last year, around August time, there was a special event where owners of Ford GTs and other limited edition Ford models were invited by Ford to see the new Mustang GTD. This was before the official reveal during car week. Now, those owners who went out to join Ford to see this new car were actually given these little uh, tokens, these coins, similar to the coins you get when you go gambling at a casino. Well, these little tokens gave each one of the, the holders an allocation for the vehicle. So people right now already have allocations for this new Ford Mustang GTD. If you have an allocation already for this vehicle, you probably are gonna be getting one before individuals who are applying to buy one. Therefore, early allocations or early builds will probably go to these people and people like us if, if we get accepted. I'm crossing my fingers I, I get accepted. I think if we don't get one of the first ones, that may open the door to an opportunity that is in our favor. Because let's look back to 2017. Let's look back to all the different years of the Ford GT new body style featuring the EcoBoost. What did we see? Well, we saw the standardized Ford GT, but we also saw unique variants, unique models that pushed what the standard Ford GT was even more to, to the limits. There was the Heritage Edition models, which these commemorated different famous race cars, whether they were the winning Ford GTs from the 60s, the black and, and the gray, or if it's about the red and white racing combination from Ford. Ford loves to commemorate their racing heritage. They love to create products that are icons, of course, but they love to do throwbacks, and I think Ford with this GTD, I mean, it is the best opportunity for them to do the same thing, but with Mustang. Not with Ford GTs, with Mustangs. The opportunity is already there. It's being built in the same production line or assembly plant as the Ford GT at Multimatic in Canada. Why couldn't they? apply what they've learned, what they're good at from the Ford GT and put it directly on this Mustang uh, GTD. I mean, it, it would work perfectly. The thought is though, what if they go down this route and this is what Jeff was talking to me about in his email and they don't stop there. The Ford GT that we had the chance to feature and review here on the channel was not a heritage edition. It was actually a carbon series. And the carbon series for GT was a really incredible feat of engineering because they feature this carbon fiber center stripe and it's perfectly weaved together. It goes from the front to the back of the car. And when you look at it, you can get different color combinations. The one I drove was blue with red pinstriping and accents. It looked incredible. The Carbon Series was not only about creating a unique design package, it also featured unique performance upgrades to make the vehicle even lighter, such as carbon fiber wheels or lightweight glass panels. I think, I think they're Lexon, Lexon towards the back. What if we could get a version, a variant of the Mustang GTD that we haven't seen yet? I mean, if this is a baseline, similar to how there is a baseline with the Ford GT, Obviously they can take things further. One thing that crosses my mind of taking things further, there is one version of the Ford GT that I saw at the Peterson Museum in Los Angeles. It was a fully exposed Ford GT. And I thought talking with the owner or just hearing the grapevine, it was a 300 or 250 
thousand dollar option i mean they have every opportunity i think to go down that route with the mustang gtd all these panels are carbon fiber from the the hood the, the, i think the roof line is there's so much on the car that's going to be in carbon fiber that they could go down that route if you look at what ford is doing here the mustang gtd is being made so they can sell them you know they're a for-profit company they also want to signify their heritage and create something truly incredible to go after their competitors and to create a legacy if they really want to make money off this car making these heritage edition models and all these carbon fiber upgrades it's an easy way to do it for a three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars starting price ford mustang we could see the ones that go well into the four hundred thousand dollar range which would put it more expensive than a lot of supercars out there ford says they're gonna get back to applicants in july regarding whether they get this new mustang or not there's over seven thousand people applying i'm one of them cross my fingers again now if we hear back in july and we get let's say a year one allocation i'm guessing orders will probably go in towards the end of this year because to race their race car version of the Mustang GTD, there has to be a street version, like I just said, Mustang GTD. We don't have one right now. There is no Mustang GTD on the street driving around that's owned by customers. There's just not. They need to start making this car soon. It's fast, right? What if they go down the route of even symbolizing or creating a livery off of the Rolex 24 color combo we had during the beginning of this year where Mustang GT3 debuted. Later down the road, I think there's a lot of opportunities at hand for Ford to improve this vehicle even more. When you look at the Ford GT, I know people who own the 2017, 2018, 19 Ford GTs. Later on towards 2020, I believe, they upgraded these cars. They improved the radiator, the cooling capacity. They improved the horsepower output on the Ford GT midway through the production cycle. I know they kept increasing the amount they were gonna make. It was originally sub 1,000, then it became 1,000. It ended off, was it around 1,350 Ford GTs? I, I think so. They could do the same thing here with Mustang GTD because when I look at the website, why would they explicitly say 2025 and 2026? Are they purely ending it off in 2026 or are they going to keep making them? Will, will there be a second batch? When the Ford GT came out, there were two application cycles. The first one I think lasted for the first two model years, then the second one lasted for the following consecutive model years. What if what we're seeing right now is purely for 2025 and 2026 model year Mustang GTDs, and then down the road, Ford will create a whole new application cycle for new people to come in to buy the car. And for those ones, they'll even offer new variations as well there's so much that can happen here and i'm very curious guys please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below let's try to answer jeff's question uh what do you think will they make heritage edition models what do you think is the most iconic mustang heritage livery out there there's a lot to think about. Do you think it could be similar to a Boss 302? I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts. Also, please email me at support at phenommodels.com. I love hearing all your different ideas and uh, pieces of feedback for video ideas. I'm a total geek when it comes to all of this stuff. I know many of you the same way. And I love just stirring uh, discussions for us to think about what's happening right now in the automotive industry, whether it's for this car or other new models over the horizon, such as the new Lamborghini Huracan coming out, or especially the Corvette ZR1. Don't forget to uh, let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. Why do that? Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you in the next episode.